Did we all nod at the same time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did. <laughs> My name's Alan Hart and today we're on day two with the apprentice plumbers or the trainee plumbers and we've got Phil. <laughs> hey, all right. The right name today. So Phil is just connecting some clips on wall here um, and we're doing the central heating installation. Um, in today's video we're going to pipe, put some more pipes on here and then we're going to connect it into the central heating system, test it all for leaks. Um, yeah, see how we go. If you've got any questions, please ask them in the comments below. And this is a bit of a shout out really. So some of these lads, they, they have no jobs and they have nobody to help them and, and, and help them train. So if, if there's anywhere in the Leeds area that needs, needs an apprentice or needs anybody to come um, and do any work for them, if they've got any job, job opportunities, then um, please put a message below. And um, yeah, if we could get full, get full of placement somewhere, that'd be be amazing. Um, so yeah, let's have a look what we're doing. So when we put these radiator valves on here, we just need to make sure the valves pushed right on. Yeah. And then obviously we'll have us not not on here. And then as we tighten them up, um, you can also put a bit of paste on there yeah. as well. Yeah, so do you know what you said about the paste earlier? Where would you put it on here? What you do is disconnect that off there. Do you want to just take that off there? Yep. Take your nut off. And if you take that nut off, totally off. Yep. What you've got in there, you've got your olive. Uh -huh. So you put your nut on there first. And then on this olive here, yep. you'd have a little bit of paste. A little bit of paste on the olive. Yeah. And then when you tighten, when you put that back on, then. Yeah. And you tighten that up, it won't leak. What you sometimes see, you sometimes see people put pita fita round the thread. That's an absolute no no. You don't do that. Okay. Because what that does is, it just makes that thread harder to tighten on. Okay. But it doesn't actually help it seal at all. Mm -hmm. um, that's you normally see that with DIY. Um, you can always tell when it's DIY because they put feet tape around. Yeah. Hopefully. So I've just got Phil cutting the pipe off now. He's just making it a clean edge, so it's all it's a square edge. And so it's a nice it's a nice edge now on there. And then with these couplings, you put the nut on first, and then we put this olive on. And then we push the insert into the pipe. And what we can do as well there, before we put that in there, Phil, yeah. we'll just get that um, thing and we'll just um, deburr that. Yeah. And it'll just make it a bit easier for you to get that on. Yeah. The good thing with this pipe work as well is there's no joints. So this is just showing a different a different way to connect the MLCP okay. with no joints. Obviously, this one that's got a T in. Just take that off, Phil. Just do yep. that. Just do that again. Just so I can just do it on camera. Yeah, no worries. So just see, put that back on again. So just just show that, just so I can see it with your hand. So it's got a double double O-ring. So it's got a double O-ring on there, and as that goes in, the olive will go over the top of this and then that crimps that in, and then it screws in to the bottom of the radiator tail. So all you need to do then is yep. push that up, and you need to start screwing that, because there's there's a thread on the inside of there that yep. connects onto it. Okay. But if you pull that out of it, yep. you screw that, that up like that. Yep. And then you can get it up and then in. Yeah. So when you're putting this thread on here, mm -hmm. just make sure your nut goes on square okay. so it doesn't cross thread. Right. And then what you do then is just tighten that, tighten that nut up. Um, tighten the olive up on it. Um, and we just got a fill, just connecting some pipe work on the downward bit. Just to bear in mind with this pipe work. Normally this would be under the floorboards. You wouldn't normally have MLCP on show. 
and it's just putting that last piece on there now. Um, as I say, you can just bend these and they're just uh, to stay in place. Um, we're just putting this last piece on here and then we're going to do some copper on these on these bottom two radiators and then we're going to connect it into this heating system and then we'll see if they've got any leaks. And we'll, obviously that pipe over there we'd have to put it into one of them. So just get us the line first. Yeah. And then put those clips in. Sound. So when we're doing copper, we've got to actually bend it with a bending machine. So it's a little bit more difficult than obviously using the MLCP. The MLCP, you can just bend it with your hand. So what we'd do, we'd tighten that up onto there. We've got us olive in there. We'd put us a bit of paste in. And then if you put your fitting on there, and again, you've got your olive in. When you put it in, try and make it so it's square yeah. when you put it in. Yeah. Um, just, uh, just watch your hands out where so I can video it. Yeah. Um, but, so you've got your fitting in square and then obviously just turn turn that onto there. What I normally do, I normally just nip this up and then undo it back off and I'll put a bit of paste on it as well. Just to make it so that it seals. You alright? Yeah. So we're going to solder this pipe here. So we're just cleaning the pipes up. We've nipped the olive up in this and then we've slackened it off a bit and it just stops the pipe from dropping out but it allows us to solder it easy. So we've made a bit of a bit of a boo-boo with us first soldered fitting. Um, so what we're going to do, we're just going to cut this olive off. So what we've got, we've got some olive cutters. Um, these are monument ones, they may be other, other makes. You can also get olive pullers as well. So we just look at these, all you need to do is just a cutter there, that's your olive. Put it over the top of your olive there. Mm. Yep. So just put it over the top of the olive and then just squeeze that. Squeeze that tight. Shake it about a bit like that. And that'll just cut. Just cuts the olive off ni nice and easy. Yeah? So what are you doing now, Phil? Um, just clean, cleaning this end feed, um, I've cleaned this pipe here and this one here. We're going to put some self-cleaning flux on um, and then we're going to solder. Right, okay, I look forward to that. Great stuff. Phil's just soldered this now, so it's his first time he's ever soldered. And I've got to say, for a first attempt, it looks very, very good. Well done, Phil. Oh, cheers, pal. What are you doing here now then, Phil? Um, so I've just got a press fit fit in here. Um, I've marked it out and I'm just going to cut this pipe. So on this we're doing a mixture of fittings. So we've done MLCP pipe. We've done different connections with the MLCP. So we've got a chrome, a radiator, um, foot radiator to connect straight in. So we would imagine that this would be under the floor. We've got where we can pipe the MLCP directly into the radiator as well. And then on this side here we've soldered and now Phil's going to do a press fit, copper press fit on this one here. So now we're going to press fit the copper, or Phil's going to press fit the copper. And on this one as well Phil. So on this last, these last two connections here, we're going to use speed fit pipe, which is just push fit pipe. So Dan is just marking where the T is, and he's going to push fit, push the T on. So they're just having to tidy up now. We've connected the last part of it there. That's just in speed fit, and then we're going to connect this. We're going to temporarily connect this into this heating system here and then we're going to test all this. Um, this MLCP pipe, this Blansol pipe, um, we got this from Beneath Heat. Beneath Heat are doing an offer at the moment where you can buy the gun on finance. Um, I don't know if they'll still be doing it when you watch this video but at the moment they are doing an offer 
where you can get the gun um, and you get some fittings and bits and bats of it. I'm not sure, but you can go on to go on to Beneath Heat website and you can see. And then, so these are brass, these. It's all brass inside there. So nice, good quality fittings. So we're gonna pack this up then now, Danny, and, and see if it's uh, see if we've got any leaks. Yeah. What are you doing now, Phil? Uh, just opening the valve up. And what are you doing? Uh, letting the water through into the radiators. So we're just gonna test moment of truth, eh? I know. See if you've got any leaks. So we've filled it all up now, we've put it up to pressure. So the idea of this pipe work is it's it's not particularly well, it is quite level and stuff, but it's it's more just to show the different types of pipe work and fittings that they could use. And this is a two-pipe heating system, and then we've just temporarily used speed fit there and connected it into this boiler here, and we've topped it up. To one bar on there. Do you want to switch that boiler on now, Danny? And we, um, Phil, even? Be careful. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> i call you Danny now. No. <laughs> and then we'll just run that. I'll put that case back on boiler actually. Right, um, we've finished, so they've packed it up. It's the first time. They're both, they're both in the second gear plumbing. They've just, well, um, Danny's doing gas. And Phil's doing plumbing. Yeah. Yeah. Got that yeah. out and out. Yeah. Um, so if there's anybody who, who's interested in taking it on, um, two new people, trainees, that'd be very, very helpful. They've just started the, uh, the second years, both of them. So they've done one year, um, one year so far, and they've just started the second year. They've done amazing on this. They've seen some different products. I'm going to take them out on some, some installs with me, installing boilers. Um, as well so as I say if anybody you know if anybody wants an apprentice please please give them a chance and uh, thanks for watching as you two got all to say no thanks just for, Thank you. for yeah. giving us Thank the opportunity um, to sort of do something like this so yeah so if you've got any questions please ask them in comments below and as always if you click above here there'll be a link to subscribe and there'll be some more links here and down here um, to some more videos as well Thanks for watching. Did we all nod at the same time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did. <laughs>